morning. So we're gonna do my makeup for the day. Right now I'm just having a Disney sweater on and some leggings because I have to teach later today. So we're just gonna do a base makeup. Since I do have my show tonight, I am gonna do a little bit more like I would do my show. That way it's not too difficult to switch, you know, to go from like green to black or like hot pink to black. Like that's not a fun choice. So we're gonna go pretty simple, keep it dark since I do have my show today. Hope you like it. Let's get oh, to it. I will use this. It's a Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. I use number nine. Comes as one of those little spinny things that puts the makeup there. Okay, so I just dab a little bit of this one up here. This is gonna even out the color between the two. Painted onto my face, basically. Okay. Blender. also tell you it is matte. It's something about peaches. Let me see if I can still read it. Modern Mandarin? Don't I don't know. It's a peachy color. So this is just gonna go right onto my cheekbone and my cheek. And I go on really thick right now because it's gonna all soothe itself out soon. I have to go with other stuff later. So for a little bit, I'm gonna look like a big sunburn. I go up here, off my forehead, along my nose, the sides, up the top of the nose, and then up the top of the nose. And then I'm gonna go up here, and 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 I'm gonna go up here, It's this color. It's a little dark for me, but it's okay. We just don't need a lot. Go down here. Down the middle. And on the sides. And the dollar. That's it. Just like that. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay. We are back to concealer. And a dab on everything you feel like. A little bit right here. I'm the highlight. And the nose and bridge. And underneath the eye. And on the top eye, eyelid area. Top of the eye, eyelid, underneath. Then you just blend out the nose and start patting the sides in. Okay. So, now we're looking like this. Okay, where is it? I am going to be using the makeup palette. Okay, so, okay, so now that all my foundation and blush are done, we're gonna get into our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using LA Girl the nudist that has these colors. I'm also going to be using Revolution and it should have these colors. Okay. Now on the nudist, we are going to be using this dark brown and this shimmer brown. Those two. I use a blending brush. This is called Blend. It's just one of my eco tools. That's what they're called. 
I'd go a little bit on this one, and a little bit on this one. Tap, 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 tap. And then start going in on the side to start making that crease and smoky eye look. So we're just gonna go in like that. Tap, tap, tap. Other side. The, start, the color starts to come out very quickly. So one thing I like about this is that the color just goes on your face really easily and not anything else. Like it just kind of goes where you want it. Okay. Now we will use this is called smudge. And then we're gonna go with the dark one only. And we're gonna go right under your eye. Same thing on the other side. Now go back to your blend and go up, 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 up. That's just to make sure that you don't miss the gap in there. Okay. Here's your look at that. Okay, now we have an eyelid, right? So the eyelid, we go to Revolution. You're gonna take the white. And I normally get this a little bit wet when I use this brand because it doesn't like to hold. So I just go under the sink a little quick and start tapping in there so that the water gets in. And now you see that, that's strong color. We want strong color with this white. You can go straight to your eyelid. You want that eyelid to look white. Okay. We do the other eyelid. I normally pull out the corner just so it's easier for me. I don't need to, but it's easier. I'm using a flat brush so that the color can just go right there where I want it. Okay, see that's the flat brush. Now I go back to my blend. I'm just gonna fix this little crease because it gets a little messed up. Boom, so you should have that with the white. I have this MAC Flourisher. And it's gonna look like this. It has a little mirror with it but I don't use it. And then up on the nose, on the bridge, the top of my cheekbone, and I go over that lid so that it has a shimmer. Now this is gonna change the color of that lid to a tan, which is what you want. You don't want the white. So that's okay. I also go a little bit here and here. So now you're looking at this. Okay, that's all you need with your eyeshadows. So those can go away, palettes can go away, my highlighter can go away, and my highlight brush can go away. Now we're on to eyeliner. Okay, so I have this one. It's a Revlon. It has this bit that can smudge, and it has the eyeliner bit. So this one's like a pencil. It's gonna go in the waterline. So you're going through my waterline. Make sure I get a nice, good black line in there. My face always looks so funny when I do this. so much harder. Like, I always want to close my eyes on that one. Hold 
Okay. Ugh, got that one done. Now I'm gonna use Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. It's a felt tip. And I'm gonna go from the inside to the outside. Start off with a small line, and then I go a little bit thicker on the end. Thick to thin. Okay. It's almost harder to do on the other edge just because like I'm pretty blind in this side, so Boom. Okay, so we are done with that. Now I just have to do mascara on my eyes. Do my eyebrows a little bit. Put on some lipstick. And we are golden. And then for my shell, all I'll do is I'll take that brow without the light brown and make a little black instead. If you catch those right away, you can just easily smudge them on the face. Um, but I'm going to take that black and dark brown from that one palette and this and go over the smoky eye part. Redo my highlighter, blush, and under eye. And redo my lipstick and put fake eyelashes on and do the good for your show. That works, guys. You see how that works? So I go back to my Hula contour thing, but I take a angle brush. This is called a defining brush. Go right on the tip, tap that out, and go straight to my eyebrows. I don't use a pencil because I'm blonde. I don't need that dark of eyebrows. I just need to make sure you can actually see them. Especially for stage. Like stage, I'll have to redo this a little bit just so that it's a little darker. But right now, I don't need them too dark. I just need enough that you can see. Oh, she has eyebrows. See, now I have eyebrows. Boom, boom, boom. I normally pat lipstick. I have like everything setting up there. MAC. Okay, so my lips are done. We use a brick MAC pencil, a prime, and a Viva Glam lipstick. And you get this. Sorry, bouncy camera. Holding it with one hand. Okay, now we're on to straightening your hair. I'm straightening today because we have three blondes in the show. One of the blondes always grows her hair, one of the blondes naturally has like ringlet hair, and then